forecast. The last 24 hours were characterized by cloudy conditions, thundery activities, and rain showers. The figures recorded are as follows. Sapo recorded the highs with 35.5 millimeters of rain. Basse recorded 9.8, Yanyambure 5 millimeters of rain. Kerawan recorded 3.5, and the lowest was over Yundu with 2.8 millimeters of rain. Tonight, we are expecting a variably cloudy atmosphere. It will be breezy, but stable across the country. Day tomorrow will be mainly variably cloudy, with chances of thunder activities, particularly during late afternoon. A southwesterly and northwesterly breeze um, will dominate the wind flow across the country, and the morning temperature values will be 25 degrees Celsius over Bangalore and Yindum. We are expecting 24 degrees Celsius over Kerawan and Sebano. You know, we record 23 degrees Celsius as well as Tau and Sapo. Yenjambure, Basi, and Frodo will record 24 and 25 degrees Celsius respectively. Top temperatures will be 30 degrees Celsius over Bandru and Yindum. We are expecting 31 degrees Celsius over Kerawan, Sibano, and Genoi. The rest of the country will be either 33 or 32 degrees Celsius tomorrow afternoon. Low tides will be 0 0.49 meters at half past 7 in the morning and 0 0.47 meters at 4 minutes past 8 o'clock in the evening. High tides will be 1.45 meters at 11 minutes to 2 in the morning and 1.52 meters at 4 minutes to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun will rise at 12 minutes to 7 o'clock and will set at 26 minutes to 8 o'clock. We thank you and wish you a very pleasant evening. And before we go, a reminder of our headlines. ECOWAS parliamentarians have commenced the process of fine-tuning the sub-regional parliament's draft gender strategy document. Eight packages earmarked for families affected by last year's crop failure yields are continuing to pour in, with the latest coming from the Federation of Red Cross and Christian Societies. Abidjan represents ang presidents angered by the receive, perceived lack of security have boycotted events marking their country's 52nd independence anniversary. And the Free Syrian Army has maintained its strange hold on large swaths of the city of Aleppo, despite suspended government efforts to overrun its defense. You can monitor GRTS Radio Live on our website at www.grts.gm. That brings us to the end of the news. Thanks for the pleasure of your company. Stay tuned and enjoy the range of our interesting programs. Until then, my name is Abu Khattab. We want to make sure that uh, we achieve our objectives, and if you are not aggressive, you cannot achieve them. So we have to intensify, not being aggressive, but intensify our activities. <laughs> yes, because uh, food security is not something we can take lightly. You know, you cannot call yourself developed when your people are hungry. I'm intensifying my activities. You know what we call leadership by example? Rather than sit down and give lectures, give practical lessons.
union am luñ koy mëna fay pour li rek ñu génné suñu ñaxar ñu défal ko wala ñu luñu bëggon lu opali waye su soobé yalla ak yonenté bi li li ya jabé bu gëré danañ ko def nan sa na won ko li ulu bé jobé borok yaaya génné ban popu ri ngu ja borok ko bola pour ko mu contane ni man mangum énom ba bi ñun kan illaay kata wulo ko no ti aseno ño seno kintu seno mu mé man seno ka cilé kana fo campante ñu tolli kana Uh, it means we started together since April 1984 and we are still together and we shall be together forever. Shahidat, 